Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have another travel subscription to share with you that's been sent to me for review and I'm so so excited because I actually saw the shipping notification for this box a few weeks ago and for whatever reason because it is coming to me from Canada it got stuck in customs for a couple of weeks so I've been long anticipating its arrival. It is, of course, the Travelista box. So uh, while I was waiting for this box to arrive, I went ahead and looked around on the website because there are some updates. One of them, I think, is that they have switched to a different platform than what they were on before. So I don't think that my code, which used to be Noel VIP, has moved over. So hopefully by the time you're seeing this video, I will have gotten that updated for you, but it should be for a good 20 bucks off. So, uh, or 20% off. I have to double check and see what that was, but hopefully there will be an updated discount code for you in the description box below. So you can get your hands on this awesome quarterly travel subscription that again does come out of Canada. So this is one of those travel subscriptions. It's kind of nice in that she will feature a destination. So we'll get some items evocative of, or even handmade in that destination but then we will also get some sort of travel goodies as well to make your travels a little bit more efficient or a little bit more glam. So I usually prefer the destination items because I am lucky enough to travel quite a bit. So I kind of have all of my travel gadgets, tools, bags. I kind of already have that set, but you know, sometimes you need to replace things. And sometimes the items that we get in this box are a nice upgrade. Now there are two different subscription tiers, which uh, is kind of new to me. So I'm not sure which one I got, but we'll have to see. So there is the first class edition, which is probably what I have to share with you. And that is $111 Canadian to start with. You definitely save with both tiers if you do the annual subscription up front. Um, and that, by the way, you guys, is about, I would say, 85 US, you know, a time of filming. That's what the exchange rate is. Plus she does flat rate shipping to the US, which is awesome, which is just $10 Canadian. So so you're looking at a pretty good deal on that one. Now, again, that's with six to eight items total, some travel, some destination. And then there is the elite class, which is even more, which is the one I didn't know about. And that is 199 Canadian per quarter. And that's going to include eight to 10 items. So quite a few more items in there. Um, and they say that those are going to be the ultra premium items. So maybe a little bit of a higher value, more hero kind of items in there. Um, and it, that includes free shipping. So you're kind of prepaying for your shipping with that subscription as well. And that is translating to about 149 US. And again, you can uh, get, get free shipping. So that's kind of nice, even to the US, I believe. So lovely box that they have. I'm excited to see what we've got. I think the next destination that they're doing is New York City. So uh, I'm not sure if they have any of this one still available. I do remember that she was doing like a little bonus where either subscription you were getting like a free Turkish towel, which is kind of cool. Um, because this time around, we are having our box featuring the amazing country of Turkey, which I know is going through a lot of turmoil and sadness and loss. Um, so it's kind of it's kind of poignant that this is the uh, feature destination for this particular quarter. So this is the winter box, I believe. Um, and so on the back, she says what's in the box. And there's usually like a little key in terms of telling us uh, if it's a Canadian company, a small business, American company, um, if it was made in the destination, if it was a travel lista box exclusive, and if it was women owned. So I love that little key along the bottom. Um, so sometimes she does like a bigger like pamphlet. Sometimes it's kind of part of the mini magazine, like the travel guide. Um, but I kind of like it in this variation where we've got our nice little postcard here on one side and then of course we've got all the items on the other side. So she does always have like a collectible postcard as well. So let me go ahead and prop this up in front of me. So it looks like we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. So I believe I have the first class box to share with you. So it says be our guest. Here is our turkey guide. So of course that is I believe the Hagia Sophia or Hagia Sophia. Um, I actually visited Turkey back in 2014 and it was an amazing trip. I was just so floored by how beautiful each city was that I got to visit. Yes, I did go to Cappadocia and ride a hot air balloon 
at oh dark 30 in the morning um, and I was also just amazed by all of the history because you know when you go to Rome for example and you see all of those ruins uh, but they are very much in crumbles and not intact and that is not the case in Turkey like there is so much history and there are so many monuments and ruins that really aren't ruined at all it's very if you love history it's it's really really cool or just even seeing like where Troy was you know it's just it's amazing and also it's like on the Mediterranean or part of it so it's it's a beautiful beautiful country and the food was delicious so hopefully she talks about that a little bit so it says, Roman ruins, exotic beaches, bustling cities, and towering mountains. Turkey awaits with an adventure for everyone. Let's embark on this beautiful journey as we explore, taste, and relax the Turkish way. So yes, that does sound amazing, but unfortunately I feel like subscription boxes and books and, and YouTube are probably going to be one of the only ways that a lot of us can actually travel to Turkey and support Turkey for a little while. Although I have actually heard reports of people who are traveling in Turkey right now and because they are far away from the affected regions, um, they're actually they're they're doing okay so maybe it would be a good way to support the country all right so let's see this is cool this is kind of a give back story about one of the products so it says the government of turkey in september 2018 launched a project for disadvantaged women namely those who cannot work since they have to care for their children at home it prioritizes women who relied on social benefits those suffering from domestic violence and women with children below the age of one up to the age of 15. Each woman is entitled to a daily allowance and an additional uh, 400 Turkish lira, which is about 52 Canadian dollars monthly, to pay for childcare and even subsidies for their utility bills. That's really cool. She's got another page about the most luxurious hotels in Turkey on a Turkish baths. I did have a Turkish bath when I was, um, when I was in Antalya, I believe, which was kind of a resort area, and it was it was very funny. They did this whole thing with these like sort of um, uh, inflated fabric balloons that have the soap, and they slap you with it. And I was on this big stone slab, and they like spun me around and scrubbed me down, and it was <laughs> I was like giggling the whole time. But I definitely it was something I knew I had to experience. Uh, we have a guide to Istanbul, of course. Constantinople. Um, and of course, we also have a guide to Cappadocia, which is known for the really cool rock formations, um, the gorme, and of course, the hot air balloons. A lot of people do the flying dress photo shoots there. Top Turkish dishes, of course, it's known for Turkish delight and Turkish coffee, as well as gajlame is like my favorite. I like to think of it as kind of a it's like a Turkish quesadilla because it's got delicious, like savory uh, cheese in it, salty white cheese in it. They have kofta, um, kebab. Um, they don't have a kunefe in here, which is like the shredded wheat with the like honey and stuff, which was another thing that I absolutely loved there. But they do have information about how to make your own Turkish coffee, um, hot air balloons, and four places you won't believe are in Turkey. Uh, honest, you guys, it was just stunning landscape, really different. Uh, I didn't realize there was so much to see in Turkey besides Istanbul, and I, I highly recommend it if you have the opportunity and you haven't already visited. All right, so with all of that preamble you're like get to the stuff noel and i'm like i am getting to the stuff don't you worry okay so the first thing i see is more of a travel item this is kind of cute it's an eco food plane baggie with little planes on it very cute so it's by keep leaf it says have the best way to bring your food on the plane with you it's sustainable not clunky and keeps your food fresh for hours we're so glad you we found this canadian eco company to part work partnered with and it has a value of 10 US dollars. It is a Canadian company, but they gave it to us in um in uh in Canadian in in US dollars. So interesting. It's a reusable food and sandwich wrap. It's got some velcro. Almost like, I was like is this like a diaper? So it just kind of opens up like in quarters. So it's just a big circle but you can put your sandwich in it. This is actually something that would be great for cruises when you're not really supposed to steal the food from the buffet, but you're gonna be on land in port all day and you wanna maybe just bring a little sandwich with you or a little snack baggie. That's kinda cute. All right, I'm down with that. Let's see, another travel item. We have an LED makeup mirror, so fun little gadget, which is always kind of nice. Now, I don't use a lot of makeup mirrors. This is uh, Travelista Box had this sort of a branded for us. It says it has a retail value of $23.95 US. So there is a spot for a little battery, and then you turn it on. Let's see if we have the battery in there. 
Um, let's see. Maybe maybe we have to put the battery in. It says, when you're on the go, having a compact mirror is super handy, especially when you have an LED light to make sure you're looking fabulous on the go. Again, retail value of $23.95 US, and it is uh, kind of white labeled by Travelista Box. Ooh, I'm going to break a nail trying to get that battery pack open. But this is what it looks like. Um, and of course, that like ring around that is going to open up for you. And um, hopefully that, yeah, so there's no battery in there yet. That's why the battery's not turning on. That's why it's not turning on. But I do like it in that pretty green color so that's what it looks like you can see she's using it all right what else did we get now we get to some of the turkish things which that's the stuff that i like you know um we do have one more travel item though oh we got some turkish delight so it says very berry now i'm not usually a huge fan of turkish delight because it usually has nuts in it but this looks like it is nut free which makes me super duper happy so it says ah the turkish delight possibly the most common treat in turkey you can find though we were not able to su successfully trade with a turkish vendor for this food item just know we've worked with a small local company who handmade this item and they are fresh our first priority is always to support food vendors in the destination and if that's not impossible then local is our next best priority so it is a canadian company it is called brittles and more and it has a retail value of seven dollars canadian so sometimes canadian sometimes us dollars all right I'm still surprised by the Keep Leaf being a Canadian company, but we got it in, in US dollars. All right, so that sounds delicious and it looks like it is nut free and it's not super powdery too, which is the case with a lot of Turkish delight that you get. This looks like a cute little, so when I was in Turkey, I wanted to get some souvenirs. I got a beautiful lamp that I just haven't hung up because they do these really cool metal and glass lamps. Um, I also got some ceramics. They're also known for that as well. And of course they're known for their rugs. I did not have enough money to get the rug that I wanted because I have very expensive tastes. Um, but I made sure that the next time I was in a region where I could buy a beautiful rug, I, I got one right, right there. Um, but I did not get a rug. So we have a cute little one like this. So this is from Nye Gifts. It's a Turkish small vendor. So I think a few of the items in here are from them. Uh, that's the uh, give back story I read to you about. It's called a Turkish wallet. It's a little pouch. It's got a little hook there so you could clip it onto something else. Little hand purses and wallets are common in Turkey. Enjoy this multi design to keep things together at home or as a wallet outside of the home. Each one has a different pattern as it was handmade in Turkey. Um, so various colors. So they're saying that it was a Canadian company, Nye Gifts. It says retail value $15.95 Canadian. Okay, so it's cute. I got it in kind of a magenta we'll say it's magenta instead of pink so that I use it more likely <laughs> uh, let's see Ooh, we got a pretty little bracelet so this is also from Nye gifts so you got we've got the evil eye bead on there but I like the little sparkly beads on the outside and I like that it's actually a clasp bracelet instead of a elastic bracelet I picked up quite a few of these with the sort of slider string closures as gifts when I was in Turkey I'm gonna gave them to my yoga students because they were in teacher training at the time and I abandoned them for two weeks um, but of course this is very delicate and lovely so it is a Turkish third day bracelet again from Nye gifts so it's there it is a Turkish small vendor but um, maybe they're located in Canada. So it says the retail value of this is $24.95 Canadian. It says the third eye is a common symbol in Turkey symbolizing protection. Depending on what you believe, this can mean from energy or anything from the spiritual world. So I do think that is really pretty. That's probably going to be my favorite item just because I like the uh, sort of almost metallic blue beads along the edge. And then it's very delicate because, you know, the evil eye is definitely a symbol of uh, something that really does stand out when you're wearing it. It looks like we've got a whole bundle of little goodies here with a little <laughs> a safety pin with a little evil eye um, bead on it. That's kind of cute. So it says it's a Turkish hammam spa set. Ah, we've got another evil eye bead right there. So let me go ahead and see if, see if I can untie this. Uh, probably not. Uh, so it says with Turkish spas being one of the top things to do, we knew you needed it, a set in your box. The towel is for your hand for exfoliation. Use the Turkish soap along with the pumice and soap comb enjoy the spa from home and so it says that this is from a small business and the retail value on this is 29 Canadian so and it looks like um, so we got a couple different things we got our soap comb with two different sizes for the teeth we got our little Turkish hand towel looks like let me go ahead and pull that out so we can take a look at it 
Um, so we, we didn't get a Turkish towel, which is kind of funny, right? Because we've gotten so many Turkish towels as like beach towels in so many different boxes. So it's got this like long pole here, but it does say that it's, uh, so, okay, so this is just like, it does have a little roughness to it, so it would work for exfoliation, but it's kind of an interesting shape for a little towel, right? Um, hopefully it will work well. We've got a nice little square pumice stone, always good for ugly feet like mine. And then of course we have this nice olive oil soap. Uh, so it does actually say, have Turkish writing on it. So we got a little soap bar. So soap bar, pumice stone, this little um, hand towel, I guess. And then finally, a little soap comb. I don't know what you use a soap comb for. Do you guys know? Let me know in the comments below. So that was our little spa set. That's cute. And then finally, we have one really big item that is more of a travel item that was kind of hiding along the bottom. This looks like a whole like duffel bag. Wow. It says, the finest quality, Hong Fu. I feel like the uh, label on this is trying to mimic another label. Like, I'm not sure, not Herschel, but like, it looks like, you guys tell me what label this is supposed to look like, right? Like it's supposed to look like something else, but then it says Hong Fu. So it's actually really nice, like this duffel bag. Wow, okay. So this is a collapsible water resistant carry-on bag. So we've got a zipper pouch in the front. Let's see if I can open this up. So it goes all the way down the sides, which is nice because you can really put a lot in there. Hopefully I can get that open, okay. So yeah, so inside, this is the zipper pouch. Wow, that completely opens up. And then inside of this opening here, you guys, there was another pouch for like kind of, you can hide some stuff there. That's kind of cool. I probably wouldn't like open it up all the way unless I really had to get into that other pouch. And then inside, it's kind of like satiny. Inside, we have just a lot of space. There is another zipper pouch here on this side. And then on this side, we also have, I'm gonna knock the box over, a slip pouch. And then it looks like, yes, we have our nice uh, slider kind of band here so you can put this over the handle of your spinner suitcase. And then we even have almost like a little money belt uh, spot right there, which is nice because it's deep enough that you could probably put like your tickets and stuff in there so you can still easily access them on the back of your bag. So this front part would be facing out and sitting right on top of your suitcase case like this so pretty big foot along the bottom of it as well oh it looks like there's a zipper pouch down here maybe for shoes or dirty clothes oh it's just an expander that's pretty cool you guys so you know because we always pick up a lot of souvenirs and then you need a little bit of a bigger bag so look I opened that up and look at how much more depth it gave us so you zip it up a little bit less depth more of a duffel size and then open it up and you get more of like a tote size so this is kind of cool it looks like oh and then we've got this little detail here so you can kind of scrunch it down if you need to to make it even like a little bit smaller so it's basically got like three different sizes that you can do so it says luggage can be so clunky sometimes we thought we would add a compact version to your luggage entourage so yeah you can do those three different sizes essentially i do wish that it had a big um strap like a shoulder strap but these are long enough that they'll go over your shoulders i don't mind a little bit of pink because i do think that pink and gray go nicely together but this is a really good thing to have um for just travels because a lot of the times you know you might have a different carry-on bag obviously this is going to work as a carry-on bag or you might not need a carry-on bag besides you know your rolly bag and your purse but then again you pick up things along the way or maybe you're dropping stuff off because you're visiting family and then you just don't want like an oversized bag when you don't need that much stuff so it's kind of nice to have this be so versatile all right i, I do like all of the features I wish that it didn't uh, look like it was trying to copy another brand if that that's that might just be me thinking that but of course you could actually I wonder if you can actually loop it through there you could probably loop it through there to really scrunch it down but otherwise I think you just snap it onto the outside to make it look kind of a little more a um, little shorter right so you can do that size you can do that size that's not like as neat I feel like when you do that little scrunch style but Pretty nice bag. It does feel like it's kind of water resistant. Decent quality, like there's just a few like um, finishing parts that I've noticed. But um, yeah, Hung Fu Travel from Hung Fu Supply. So 
you guys let me know what what is that label supposed to look like so let's go over what we got in our first class box from Travelista featuring Turkey on the travel side we got this collapsible carry-on bag that goes in three different sizes we got our travel compact mirror and our eco food plane baggie which of course you don't have to use it just on the plane and then from Turkey we got four different things we got our spa set that actually had four items within it our Turkish delight as a nice treat our little Turkish um, rug little they call it a wallet but I'm just gonna call it a pouch and then finally my favorite item which was the evil eye to ward off any evil um, bracelet I thought that was my favorite and I'm happy that they were able to work with some women owned and uh, small businesses as well you guys let me know in the comments below if you've traveled to Turkey and what your favorite item in this box was and double check I should have an updated code for you if you're interested in getting signed up for the next Travelista box